Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Finally, GLM 4.6 new model got released. And I want to ask them one question that why you have released your model GLM 4.6 so early? Because today, Claude Sonnet 4.5 got released. And in their blog also, they have written these things that their new model GLM 4.6 still lags behind Claude Sonnet 4.5 in coding ability. Guys, many people will tell you that new model GLM 4.6 is better than Claude Sonnet 4. But in this video, you will get the actual knowledge and actual thing. So with transparency, I will show you that which model is based GLM 4.6 or Claude Sonnet 4. And also, another interesting thing is that they are saying their model GLM 4.6 is based than Claude Sonnet 4.5 in reasoning capability okay so that's why they have released that means this gm 4.6 model is only reasoning focused so if you see this comparison on all of these benchmarks on this ai ma 2025 gpqa and this hle and also this browse comp so these are actually uh, reasoning benchmarks so on this reasoning benchmarks here you see that the first one JLM 4.6 is far better than this Anthropy Claude 4.5. And if you see this um, this coding benchmark, this SW bench verified or this terminal bench, they are uh, this Claude Sonnet 4.5 is better. Now, one another thing is that some days ago, many people switched uh, from Claude code to JLM 4.5 because of this only. Here you see, means uh, Claude code is terminal based we all know and here you see that this one this is the Claude Sonnet 4 and the last one is this Claude Sonnet 4.5 okay now you see that uh, this GLM 4.5 is actually performing better than this anthropic Claude Sonnet 4 on this terminal bench and also this GLM 4.6 is performing better than this Claude Sonnet 4.5 uh, Claude Sonnet 4. Okay, so that's why many people at that time switched from Claude Code to uh, GLM 4.5. Uh, but here, if I want to show you one output. So here you see that if you go to their website chat.j.ai, this is their GLM uh, official website. In this drop down, you will find this model GLM 4.6. And what I have done, I have taken again the same design. This is the design and uh, a dashboard for a management product so what i have done that i have provided it to this uh, jlm 4.6 and i asked it to implement it in html CSS, and js and you see that i i got this kind of output from them and uh, it is not matching with the uh, with the provided image but at the same time if i show you the output from the cloud sonnet 4.5 so here you see that this is the output from the Claude Sonnet 4.5 and this is exactly matching with the provided design input. But uh, GLM uh, 4.6 was unable to replicate the design. So it has provided us the output but it, it is not matching with the input. Okay, there are some difficulties and here another thing is that if you want to get this um, Claude Sonnet 4.5 level up outputs, then some iterations is needed. Okay. Here you see that we got the chart, we got these uh, boxes, and also this today's meeting section and developed areas, which are already present in this design. But this is not looking good uh, like the Sonnet 4.5. So here, after number of iterations, you may expect the same design as the 4.5. But which is basically waste of time, right? So that's why you should definitely use this uh, Claude Sonnet 4.5 for the coding purpose. And that is also uh, the same thing they are telling in their official website that 4.6 still lags behind the Claude Sonnet 4.5 in coding ability. And, uh, uh, and uh, basically they are saying that their new model 4.6 is for the reasoning purpose and that's why i want to tell them that as 4.5 model got released uh, means sonnet 4.5 got uh, released 
yesterday so that's why they should wait to release their new model glm 4.6 and they should improve their new model in coding capability also and in that way people more people will accept their new model okay and here you see that it is obviously uh, better than the dfc version 3.2 and um, it, it is better than this sonnet 4 on the reasoning so uh, if i show you the pricing here you see that the, this is the pricing glm 4.6 input pricing is 0 0.6 dollar and the output pricing is 2.2 dollar and uh, so this is the thing and uh, what i have noticed that they have just increased their context window here you see previously it was 128k now it is 200k token superior coding performance uh, achieves higher score on core benchmarks basically uh, if you are building one agent or let's say if you are uh, building one ai application and if there you want to uh, use any api endpoint a best endpoint with a medium performance then this glm 4.6 is best because if you use this deep seek v3 uh, uh, version 3.2 there you see that new 4.6 is actually beating that model so why you will will you go for that deep seek version 3.2 right and also uh, they have told that uh, they will make this glm 4.6 open source okay uh, this is very interesting now here you see that if you uh, can see the url in url this is written that glm 4.6 as the model got published one hour ago so that's why they are preparing uh, to publish this model on the hugging face but uh, after one day you will find this model in their hugging face repository also okay so this is the things and uh, have i missed anything let me check and 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 yes stronger performance in tool using and search based agent so what i am i was telling that uh, this model has the best uh stronger performance than the deep seek version 3.2 in tool calling uh in coding purpose also and in uh, reasoning purpose also okay and if you think from the reasoning purpose perspective then uh, it, it is better than the Cloud Sonnet 4, uh, 4 and 4.5 in, in reasoning, but it is not best than Sonnet 4.5 or 4 in coding purpose. I hope you got the point. It is a little bit confusing, but remember it when you are using reasoning and coding. Please think about the use case and then choose the model. Okay. And otherwise, they have written some of the things. Okay. Okay. So this was the thing that I wanted to share with you guys and I hope that uh, this detailed explanation will be helpful for you and uh, if you want to use it just go to their official website I have given the link in the description go there do the sign up and uh, there you will find this model glm 4.6 in drop down and also if you want to use the API on the right hand side they have given this API just click on that and after that here you will find this uh, this uh, coding plans okay here you see that coding light coding pro coding max and also there are uh, some points like uh, pay as you go model okay so for that you have to go to their where was that link yes this one here you see per 1 million input token is a token list okay token list pricing okay so i hope that this video will be helpful for you guys to take the decision that which model to choose for reasoning and for coding and if you want to get this type of videos more daily don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care